Hello everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you today. And this is a card I have created for the Stamping Inspirations Blog Hop, which is brand new this month. Um, it's actually been moved over from the Joy of Sets Blog Hop to a new spot, but it's the same fun crafters. So um, for January, our theme was something new. So I've chosen to stamp with the quite curvy stamp set which is in the spring catalog for Stampin' Up. Um, you may have had it as an early order near the end of the year but it is in the spring catalog as our offering and it's got all these fun expressions and the birds and the vines and the really cool thing is that the dies that coordinate create these curves as well so everything coordinates very very nicely. So I'm going to create this card for you today um, for the blog hop and I'll take you through my steps and then you'll be able to recreate it with your own supplies, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started. I am using Melon Mambo as my card base and I'm using a piece of the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper as kind of my focal coloring piece. And as you can see, I've cut the edge here with one of the dies from the Quite Curvy dies. So I'll explain how I did that and I'm gonna do a little bit of embossing as well. Something else I did was I cut my card down to be four inches wide instead of our standard four and a quarter, but I left it at five and a half inches. Now one of the reasons I did that is that I wanted my DSP, my designer series paper, to completely fill my card here at the bottom, but I didn't want to waste leftover. So if our 12 by 12 paper is cut into four inch strips, we can get more cards out of it. Um, and this actually worked out that I could do a 4x4. Four four. So I can get 12 of these card designs out of one sheet of designer series paper. So that's a really good way to use your paper efficiently um, and save on your cost. So just by turning my card down to 4 inches from 4 and a quarter, I've saved myself some money. So that's kind of fun. Um, of course, you could always cut your piece bigger if you wanted to, but that is one thing I did for this card. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about how I cut that curvy die. So I have here my cutting plate, and yes, I do have a non-cut mat. It's actually from Creative Memory, so it's not Stampin' Up! Um, but it has the grid lines on it, and I was able to put my 4-inch by 3-inch piece of Melon Mambo, okay, that I started with, and I took my expression, my curvy expression, and I just kind of held it over the top where I thought I might want it. And then I positioned my die underneath it so that I would be able to fit my expression above the curve. Because obviously when you put your die on there, you could tweak it as far as what angle you cut at. But I wanted one that kind of went across smoothly, but I wanted to be able to make sure my expression would fit nicely above it. Okay, so that's how I did my positioning. The other thing I wanted was because my piece was four inches tall, I wanted to have at least two inches of overlap on the top. So by using my grid here, I came down to two and a quarter on both sides when I cut on my edge and ran that through. Okay, so if I take that off, you can see it's cut my straight edge here and it's given me my perforated edge there. And now that's good to go for my card project. Okay, that wasn't so hard. So that's a really easy, nice curve that we can use on our card. Okay, so from there I am going to stamp and emboss. So I'm going to use Versamark, and this time I'm going to use the birthday expressions from the stamp set. Just to show you that the curve is the same on three of these expressions, but you could make different um, occasion cards with them. So I just stamped with my, inked up with my Versamark, and I can see through my block so I can stamp down my greeting. And then I'm going to bring in my little tote here. Stampin' Up! used to sell these years and years ago, so you can say how long I've been stamping. I have one of these older trays. So I just put it on, dust it, and tap it off. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my heat tool. So bear with me for a minute while it gets a little bit loud, but you're going to see that it changes that powder over to a nice glossy finish.
So I changed it to a nice glossy impression there, expression there to use on my card. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put this together. So first things first, I'm just going to add my designer series paper to the bottom of my card base. So I'm just going to open it up, lay it down. They're both four inches wide, so it should fit just nice and easy. Just like that. Okay, then I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon across the top. So I just need to cut it a little bit longer than the width of my card. And you've seen me do this before if you're not brand new to my video series here. I just put a little snell on the back and then I wrap and tack my ribbon down into that adhesive. Okay, and then I'm going to add dimensionals to the back. So I overlapped that ribbon a little bit and then I'm just going to come along, put them down. So that's going to lift this curvy expression up off the face of my card just to give it a little bit of pop. And this one I'm going to line up with the top of my card just like that. And then to add just a little bow I cut another strip of ribbon and then I just go slip this underneath because I didn't tear that on the front so I can slip a piece underneath and just tie a nice simple knot, just a single knot, pull it snug and then what I do is I bring my ends up together and I trim them off together on an angle to create my sassy little bow there. Okay? So pretty easy. And then you can go ahead and you could either line the inside or not and you could create a um, custom envelope that would go with your card. And as you can see, I've got two different ones. And you can see you have different heights in this depending on where you cut. You could always shorten it if you wanted to. But I have two similar cards that were pretty easy to make and I've got two cards I can send out now. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you'll enjoy the blog hop. Um, just visit the post link in the video comments below and you can hop along to all of the crafters that shared this month with something new. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!